from guess what the hotel has a freaking butt toilet and this is a regular toilet you know how that works this is incredible i'll show you a bit of the room can't lie it's like a little old lady-ish but it's okay it's so cute because it's like it it's nice, it takes you back in time. And guess what, we have the illest view. Nothing! No, we have something, there's a building over there. A nice- it's Modernly old. Right, it is modernly old. Oh, these are messed up. My white shirt's got blue tint. Bummer. So, let's chat. The plan for today, I don't know. I think we're gonna go to Coliseum first, or at least we're gonna try it because apparently the Coliseum closes at seven and we don't have tickets. So we're gonna try to buy some tickets, go see that. Um, then after that, what? Find something to eat. Food. So we are currently walking down the Rome streets trying to find the Coliseum. It is way hotter than Barcelona, but you can definitely tell that we are for certain in a different place because we realized that Spain really resembles France in a lot of ways but this, you know it's neither like quite frankly it's not all glitz and glamour like it seems to be because there's graffiti everywhere homeless people and litter you guys won't believe that my mother's out here getting us lost she doesn't know how to work the navigation the nice friendly cab driver who spoke a little bit of English told us the Coliseum will be down the block, right? Going left down the block. And she took us right. If y'all even believe that that was me that did that. I, this, is, this is my, <laughs> my channel. Y'all don't really know don't your listen, host. Don't listen to the lies, okay? So, in the, I think, 45 minutes that we've been here, I've decided that I am officially Italian now. I've adjusted to the Italian way of life and I'm completely ready to function like an Italian. So, um, ciao. One, two, three, four, I think I'm losing my mind. Trying to stay inside the lines. It's like y'all running in place. Yeah. Now we're trying to get inside of the Coliseum. We took some really nice pictures. Follow me on Instagram to see those. We also met a really nice African man and I got two free bracelets. So we got tickets to go into the Coliseum. Uh, I'm super excited. I can't wait to just like get a taste or like a glimpse of how but what is going on with this? Guys, please pay it no mind. As I was saying, I can't wait to get a glimpse of like what the, the actual Romans had lived like and what they saw because they were like really huge important events that went down here. So I'm so gassed. I'll show you guys what inside looks like once we get there. I don't need no one else. I'm better by myself. Myself. Well, you guys just saw the inside of the Coliseum. It is absolutely beautiful in real life. I wish you guys could actually see it. There's so many, many details. But what's so great about it is all of this was, first of all, handmade made out of stone and brick and yet it's still so intricate. I also think the people here are kinder than the people in Barcelona. These steps are the scariest thing I've had to do all day because they are steep. If you go down one, you go down all. Boom. Boom. <laughs> That's how you feel. You feel like Godzilla or something walking down these. You can't help but stomp. Hey guys. It's me with my, my homeboy, Mr. Stone. Mr. Stone, tell him how old you are. I don't know, like 2000? Yeah, bet, I agree. This is such a sensory experience. It's honestly amazing. I like, what did I do to deserve this? I had a Gatorade earlier, but yo, the way it's hot out here, you might have to put me under the Coliseum at this rate. I'm back and I look a mess. So the Coliseum 
It was absolutely beautiful. Now we're in the hotel room and I am tired. I don't think we've adjusted to um the time yet. What do you think, mom? Mm, I think we have, um, but we've also been awake in the morning every time we've been here. You're right. Because ain't no sleep. It's time to explore, man. You know why I think this penny on my leg was a roach? I was about to freak out. I was really about to freak out. I don't even know why it's stuck. I'm gonna go eat something and take you guys with me. Maximize all the pleasure. We don't have all this weather. Nothing can make it better. Maximize all the pleasure. Maximize all the pleasure. We don't have all this weather. Nothing can make it better. Maximize all the pleasure. Yo, that lasagna? Hands down, might be one of the best I ever had. Sorry, mom, no offense. It was so good. Perfect amount of noodle, not too thick. Had enough cheese. Had it with pina colada. Pina colada was delicious. I can drink liquor out here. I didn't do it though, because we're responsible. But I can. Honestly, love Rome. Love Rome so, so, so much. Like, Barcelona was beautiful. I could definitely see myself living in Barcelona. I can see myself living in Italy. I can see myself living in London. France is a visit place. Like, still love them, but just not my forte. Love it. Love it so much. But Barcelona and Rome, I'm in love. I wish that you guys could be here to see it. It's so amazing. If you guys ever get the opportunity to travel, luckily I'm so blessed to have these opportunities and have a wonderful mother who wants to take me these places but if you guys ever get the opportunity please do please travel because these experiences are just indescribable so do that buy a ticket and do that i have a hack for you guys in case you're ever scared to get wet when that thing is in the middle of the shower step on top of this thing yikes don't do that but just <laughs> Okay, so maybe it's not that good of an idea after all, so we're just gonna... Ta -da! Alrighty guys, another new day. I'll show you guys the outfit. So we've got cute shades, this shirt that I got in Spain, shorts from Hollister, and my Michael Kors shoes. Very, very simple, very cute. Decided to play it calm because we're doing a lot of walking today. But yeah. I think the plan is to head back to the Coliseum because our tickets include everything that's over there. Palatine Hill and the Roman Forum are our next stops. Then we should be heading to the Triv Trivi? Triv yeah, Trivi, I think that is. Something fountain. And then after that, we're gonna go to the Spanish Steps and wherever else the wind blows us and then hopefully some food, um, of course. Pretty touristy day out. I'm gonna reconnect with my inner Italian since we're going back outside and I think I'm perfecting my craft. And I'll talk to you, show you guys some things once we get outside. Everything is so beautiful, but I'm especially enjoying touching all of the stones. It's like, it's nice to see, but to feel it and actually feel things that are so ancient, like it's not even old. The freaking um, cathedral of Barcelona was old. This is ancient, and that makes it all the better. Just look at it, just reminds you that there was life before. And to think all of this is just like ruins like this was once fully functioning. Look at everything, it's so incredible to digest. It makes me want to go like back in time and see what all of this was like before. It leaves a lot to the imagination because even though you're only seeing these like many pieces of broken down brick. You can just envision what it looks like in its heyday. I think I'm especially amazed that something could last such a long time. Like how are these things still standing? I mean, well, okay, maybe they're not yeah, all still standing because duh, but compared to the way Before. things are so fragile now and these things managed to last thousands of years, it's incredible. This is the most ancient temple in Rome. Since 
I chatted with you guys. We just came from the Spanish Steps. So sorry, I forgot to take you guys there. So you guys are gonna be so excited for the video that I post on my Instagram because only the real ones will know. I need to have a drink before we leave. We're gonna get a sidewalk for lunch. We're gonna have a drink for lunch. Ooh! I would absolutely study out here or live here. Like, we, you, you know, like Spain and, and Rome, two amazingly beautiful places. The people here are kind. I really, really like it. I would so live here. When you're legal to drink in Europe, you want to see it. What are you drinking? Prosecco. <laughs> Ciao! <laughs> I'm out here making friends, got some bread. It is a great time. I, I need to live. I'm moving to Italy. That's it. That's it. That beam of light is the coolest thing. I guess it moves all around the room, but it's currently aimed only right there. And when you're standing in it, it's almost blinding. This is a weird angle, but I thought we could chat. I have no complaints about Italy whatsoever. I'm used to the dirt, so the glitter and pollution don't scare me. Everything is so beautiful. Gelato is delicious. Honestly, wouldn't trade for the world. The first Pope Chapel, and out there are the holy stairs that we just climbed up. And I think I have bruises on my knees, but it's worth it. Tried to keep it simple today. Got this dress in Spain, super cute, nice and flowy. Let me tell you about the day that you missed. Well, we had actually gone to the Basilica of St. John Laterno, and that is the highest ranking church in all of Western Europe. Mm -hmm. And it's even higher than St. Peter's Basilica, which is in Vatican City. So it was super beautiful being able to see that. Then we also got to climb, and when I say climb, I mean on our knees, the Holy mm -hmm. Stairs, which are believed to have been um, the stairs that Jesus walked to the verdict of him being crucified. So you have you cannot walk on that. Your feet cannot touch the stairs. You have to kneel. And they say that the the pain that comes from kneeling or you know climbing up them is supposed to be your punishment for your sins, supposedly. Um but it was a nice experience. Very very nice experience. I enjoyed it. You have to pray on every step as well that you climb up. I think I got some footage as well. And then we even got some access into the first Pope Chapel. It's the exclusive chapel specifically for um, the popes to pray in. So it's nice that we also got to be in there. We learned that inside of the Pope Chapel, they have the like a fragment of the chair that Jesus had sat in in the Last Supper and in like this rectangle box thing that is also the video that i'll drop in this vlog has the heads of like two saints their heads are in there and it's relics that are specifically for the pope that are inside of that box but yeah so that was what happened today 
Mom and I are about to go find some lunch. I'm not 100% sure where we're going, but when we get there, I will chat with you guys some more. So, see you later, fellas. Hello, guys. We're currently at the restaurant, and it is called Tono. Ton, tonar, tonarello? Tonarello? Tonarello. We're gonna to say it the American way. It shames me, but it's something that we just have to do. Another day, another glass. Am I right? Am I? Huh? Is that Mona Lisa dabbing? Wow, look at the art, yo. That is the best t-shirt I've ever seen in my entire life. This again is the last view the prisoners would get of the city before going away and that is something. It's like hey look at the water and the people that you'll never get to see because you might die here. This is the cell where I can't even lie it's type spacious but if you in there were like 20 people okay understandable prison but if it's for one person come on now. That's a whole bedroom. Rent would be like 16000 for that at home. This is so it's a safety hazard. They're putting a prisoner in here, they just gotta snatch you and yoke you up. Oh, these are prison cells. Oh, wow. And you go through this door, this tiny baby door. I wonder if anybody died in there. If you guys don't know, I'm also really into like spirits and stuff like that. So, if we encounter one, that'll be pretty cool. You got a hallway. Th I can't believe that these were kapasi. Two, two people would be in this one cell. Honestly, could fit five. This is spooky. And just imagine, this light wasn't here. I would be so freaked out if I looked into one of these rooms and there was something in there. More prisoners. They also have a torture room in here, but I think that that's a separate tour. You can't see anything in there, and that thing is open. You know I'm having the time of my life right now, right? This is so fun for me because I love things like this. Like, I'm always watching prison documentaries, and just the thought of it being so old and knowing that it might be haunted, like, call me a weirdo, but this is the best day ever. This must be like the courtyard. I'll show you guys. We have audio guides, but they don't um, continue down here. So it doesn't tell us what all of this was for, but I can only assume that it was a courtyard. More prisons. It's probably gonna send us back upstairs now. This is the court that they will go to to be sentenced before going to jail. My inner historian is putting two and two together. And it seems like these same three men are being displayed in each picture. I mean, these two are different, but these same three men. So they must have had some serious impact. I don't know, maybe they're like judges or something. 
at this time. I have to do some research. Maybe I'll look that up later too. Some new guys. Baptista Bon. Wow, okay, so their names. I'm gonna look them up later. Maybe each room is dedicated to a new guy. Or three. So that was the room where apparently they would recruit the military people. It seems like a majority of this palace is like justice based. And in the audio guide that we had listened to, it was saying that the family who looked at it's the, the palace of what? Doge's Doge's. 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 So this is the palace of Doge's. And it's the audio guide said that they only lived in like one half of the palace. The rest was used for like the government and parliament and stuff like that. Which could you imagine living across from a functioning prison with like insane people? And torture rooms and judges and oh my god, all that in one place. This is a cool thing about the city, but it's like, oh, -dee -da -dee -da. oh this is just a cafe and then you've got a whole body of water outside. It's hard to imagine people living like this every day. directing the boat it's both of our first times ever doing this and it is one of the best things you get to see everything it's like the better way I guess it's amazing and surreal because you you don't imagine yourself actually being able to do it and then you do <laughs> Other sculptures, literally everywhere else, you can see the detail. Yes, it's beautiful, but here the stone is smooth, it looks so crisp, it looks like it was just done, and it's likely hundreds of years old. It's beautiful, and I'm especially in love with all the ceilings. Like, the monuments are wonderful. We got to go inside the Pope's tombs too. I couldn't take you guys down there. I love the ceilings because the ceilings are where you can see all the little details and you can see where they took their time to chip and you can only imagine how long it probably took them to and you the number take the number take the number please because my phone is dying you know i couldn't really decide and i still can't decide if i want to put music over that but if what you just heard was a very frustrated woman my phone is dying that is a movie all 2019 so we're inside of the Vatican Museum and we especially want to see the Sistine Chapel while we're here. But I was talking to mom and I was like, I find it so funny how in a lot of the paintings the Romans are depicted as like catastrophic people. Yet the basis is in Rome and the religion is the largest and run in Rome. Why?
to Rome and Barcelona. I love Europe so much. And I'm 100%, a, a million percent going back. Now, we go back to our regularly scheduled program back home. Luckily, there's no school until August. And that's a new chapter, a new video that I'm going to be posting. See you guys soon. Hey guys, I'm back home from Europe and I have to say once again, it was an absolute dream. I've decided, like seriously, I know I was joking throughout the vlog, like I really, really, really would love to study in Italy and if my dream to become successful and be rich one day comes true, I hope to have a place in Italy because it is so amazing and it's easily now officially one of my favorite places. Italy was incredible. Barcelona was beautiful. The architecture is absolutely amazing. And it, it's even more humbling knowing that not a lot of people get these experiences. And luckily I got to have it. Well, there's a pool there. I've been living here as long as I have and I didn't know that. But seriously, I'm so happy and I cannot wait to go back. Thank you guys so much for watching currently on my way to work I need to get this baguette so I can go on more trips and I hope to see you guys Ooh, it's a person here I hope to see you guys on one of my next videos that I post so please stay tuned thanks again guys love you